Good evening. <laughs> Welcome to <laughs> the latest edition of the Found Footage 3D Director's Video Diary. We are out in a very, very spooky place right now. Um, I am out here at the location for the first and last time. Basically, I'm out here for the duration now. And uh, I got to see the set and what it's going to look like. Uh, fully dressed uh, a couple of hours ago for the first time and so now I'm going to lead you guys on a tour of the creepy cabin in the woods where we will be shooting about 90% of our movie so come and join me if you dare <laughs> that tell me that that's not one of the fucking creepiest things you've ever seen if that thing doesn't creep you out, then uh, I'm sorry, but you don't have blood running in your veins. So we have our creepy old piano, which unfortunately does not make noise, but as a professional sound man, I can make it make noise do, uh, via movie magic in post-production. We have our couch that's been torn apart. Cobwebs. Those are not... I believe those are actual cobwebs. Those are not art department cobwebs. Those were there in the location when we got here. Up there we have Chekhov's gun. Ceiling falling apart. Oh my gosh. That is one gigantic spider. Did you catch that? I no, Oh no. man, it just crawled up underneath that uh, that mm. panel right there. I think it was a black widow too. The, uh... There are deadly spiders out here. We may not actually survive this shoot. Can you see it? Well, let me zoom in. You see the spider. That is also a real spider, not a fake art department spider. We have the bed, which no one would ever want to sleep in. Our desk, which you may recognize from the proof of concept video for those of you who saw it. It is in fact the same desk. Check out this little creepy detail right here. What is it about dolls that's just so fucking creepy? These books have all seen better days. Creepy fireplace. Yet another touch that was uh, not added by the art department. This, however, was. I believe that we have decided to call this the Derpy Ram, for obvious reasons. Ancient China cabinet. Here we have the uh, old timey radio that apparently, or so I have been told, actually works. Ooh. <laughs> Can you hear that? Oh, yeah. I don't know, there's something about a radio like this, playing music like that, that just doesn't feel right. It feels like it should be playing like a big band or like, listen here, see, copper, I'm not gonna, <laughs> some sort of old timey radio show. And instead it's playing, don't you want me, baby? And the kitchen. Now, you guys sh uh, should be very grateful that you cannot experience this thing in smell vision We are only in three dimensions. We do not have a fourth dimension of smell yet. And you should be glad because this refrigerator was actually sitting out in a barn for God knows how many years. And uh, animals made their den in it and uh, uh, it smells like it. It is not a pleasant smelling room in here right now. Giant cleaver, rusty knife. Those are knife sharpeners for the rusty knives. Our bottles, very, very authentic looking. Uh, 40 years of dust on the bottles. Also uh, already here when we got here. What I love about this set and some of the stuff that we've been able to do with it with that Claire and the art department has been able to do is that, you know, as we were walking through here, uh, a couple of hours ago, I had to ask them, like, what, okay, wait, was that already here, or is that something we brought? And, uh, you know, the, all the stuff that they brought matches so well with the stuff that was already out here. We are going to do vile, vile things to this room at some point. I, can, I, I can't tell you any more than that without spoiling the surprise, but trust me, this room will not emerge from this shoot unscathed. All right, so that is the tour of the cabin. And, um, you know, it's not 100% finished yet, but we're very, very close. Uh, and we're really, really looking forward to bringing the crew out here and the cast will be coming out in three days, four days. 
Um, and I'm gonna make them all sleep here on the floor for the first night that we're here, just to really sort of get everybody in the appropriately creepy mood. Um, and trust me, man, I don't know if you can tell from where you guys are, but I do not want to sleep in this place. I'm going to, because you know, I don't want to make them sleep here without being willing to join them, but I don't want to, because this place fucking creeps me out. So, if I make it to next week, I will see you then with the next installment of the video diary. Until then, have a good week.